Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Guys, listen. It's it's always a great day when I get to come in here and and step on the neck of naysayers and again relay more information to the future millionaires amongst the money mafia of what you're doing and why what the move that you made here will be one that'll go down in history guys listen you already know you're here with your host money money montgomery guys listen aka mr i don't miss guys we're gonna dial everything in obviously crypto's going up everything uh it's just funny see this is why i said i stopped using um uh, retracements and things like this because i said people getting lost in the guys you've been range bound but now you know this is why we're not going to be so uh, caught in the um emotion of what's going on in the crypto market now everything's up just last week oh, oh now we're up to 65k when i kept telling y'all guys the breakout point of bitcoin is what seventy-two thousand. to break it above that seventy-two thousand, guys we're going up to pay them we're going up the uh a bitcoin to a hundred thousand same with xrp we're looking for that break above 67 uh as a confirmation that we're making a move and then of course that break and hold above 75 cents i reckon right 72 is good but that break above 75 cents is going to send you off to what we call discovery phase aka uh dollar holla aka a uh, uh ungala but nonetheless let me bring it all into you here we got some pretty uh, uh um how can i say the word clarifying information here um standing on one i like i told y'all last month or what even last month was it like three weeks ago two weeks ago when the sec was um when ripple was coming out and said hey sec we're gonna put this in a um locked away you know uh high interest rate account and you'll get this on october 7th right to ensure that there was no appeal gonna occur people were like no it's because they're doing it because it's gonna be an appeal well again now we're here we're rolling up again october 7th being the deadline of appeal and again all legal issues are taken away and are, are gone from ripple right but again i think that this video here is going to be more convincing on the fact of that you know there's no appeal obviously they've already agreed this, so we know there's no appeal coming right we just know on the seventh is the end of all litigation or anything that has to do with legalities being tied to ripple but also i want y'all to dial in further on maybe some events that are occurring <clears throat> around that same time frame that might further allude to this point of why we're seeing we know that we're sitting here in this window we're on the launch pad about to get sent right but nonetheless let's get down to it straight out the gizzle so Lictro, which again i went up here to find out what this was is simplifying private market investing for accredited investors access the top private companies removing barriers from innovation and transparency i i i e an investing platform for credit investors, institutions, et cetera, et cetera. But they released out, out the gate, and I told y'all, pay attention to how much advertisement comes. I told y'all in my last video, my OG, my dad came to me and said, hey, Brandon, by the way, next time we meet up, I need you to explain crypto. Now, I told him this about this last year. But now I know, and my dad is a, was a, a high-tier uh, banker, so I know one, either his banking friends are talking to him about it, or it's just now being pushed out so much so. But my dad is, you know, 67, you know, 68, right? Retired. So for him to be catching this, I want y'all to understand the factor. I told you, you know it's too late when they're pushing it out to the masses, or especially those... Uh, 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 again, my dad was a VP at Regions, right? So information they could be getting about, hey, you might want to catch up on this, right? When that starts to spill out now, but we've known with this institutional money is flooded in, go look right now in the uphold again, see what your top volume cryptos are and what your top ball is. You'll see that coin there, XRP, right? But now, here we go, Licto dropping a, really a, the greatest type of commercial you could really have for the difference between Bitcoin and Ripple. Here we are. It takes Bitcoin 10 minutes to settle one transaction. It takes XRP only five seconds. That's 120 Ripple transactions every BTC transaction. XRP army. So here we go. Here's that. Here's the advertisement. Okay. Okay. Completed. Now, guys, this is this is great. They proceed to just record 10 minutes of this screen just to show you how long in, in reality, when you're talking about moving, hey, we got to move, bada bing, bada move this money. Let me get it. How long 10 minutes actually is for a transaction to occur? For every one of these, 120 XRP transactions can occur. Guys, this is the time we're going. The commercial was literally, let's see if we can come out here. The commercial was literally 10 minutes of it rolling for Bitcoin to get over there and complete. 
But I said, okay, that's great. But what further? Now, everybody should know today that our favorite weasel over there, the SEC, got grilled today, right? But all this to further point to the fact of that we know there's no appeal. I told y'all that, again, three months ago when I had this guy, I said, wait a minute, guys. The SEC's got nothing to stand on. The government hates them. But now let's tap into this information. Jack, we appreciate the information. Just in, Gary Gensler, SEC chair, uh, faced harsh criticism in Congress today from uh, Representative Tom Emmer. Again, Tom Emmer, House Majority Whip, husband, father, hockey fan, congressman for Minnesota 6th District. Now, again, fair use, but look at how we tap into this, guys. Again, we know that they've already come to agreement. There's no appeal coming. October 7th, SC receives that money, whatever little exit is grown for them, and then this is done, right? But again, I want y'all to see what your favorite weasel had to go through today. Fair use! The SEC broke the law. Your attorneys lied to the court. And no one in your leadership here in D.C. has been held accountable. That tracks. Seems like business as usual here in Washington. Okay, switching gears very quickly. I want y'all to just, again, I, I love bringing this information, y'all. We got a couple of clips we're going to view through this video. But I want y'all to catch the tone of the government towards this branch of the government, towards what the SEC's been doing to cryptocurrencies. Because, you know, they money in it, too. This is institutional money playing around now. You, uh, you probably, he probably got his hands in there. And you've been playing with his money. But now look at the tone and y'all tell me you think the SEC would dare try to play with some appeal right now. It's been recently reported that Vice President Harris has finally said she'd craft clear rules of the road for the digital asset space if she becomes president. Is this your approach too, sir? Or do you think she's rebuking you because she doesn't think you've done a good, good enough job establishing these clear rules over the last three years of her administration. I think that there's laws in place. If Congress wishes to change them, they'll change them. But the, we are enforcing the laws, and there are many people my in this time. field so you don't that think are not she's following the laws. Yeah, hey, look, look at the temperament. Reclaiming my time. Well, it's very interesting that you uh, view your performance that way, because we have a litany of court cases, extraordinary mm. confusion in the marketplace, and millions of Americans pining for clarity from you. You've abused the agency's enforcement tools, and you've been you've even baited companies eager to comply yes. with you. Yes. Only grill them. To hit them with enforcement actions. You've retaliated against businesses and people who have come before this committee to talk about the next generation of American finance. And perhaps somehow, worst of all, you've made up the term crypto asset security. This term is nowhere to be found in statute. You made it up. You never provided any interpretive guidance on how crypto asset security might be defined within the walls of your SEC. And again, this is the thing of what everybody's been saying. Obviously now XRP, the only crypto with legal clarity. But again, look at the money and the the fight that XRP had to go through to get to this point of legal clarity where we're about to make millions. Hallelujah. But look at what all had to occur for it to all be based on the back of nothing you cost a lot of people money cost a lot of damage to the little bit of retail that is in the crypto markets or in these utility coins to say the least right but you go and say that your job is to protect the retail investor you did a similar great job in the stock market also yet you made the broad proclamation that you believe a majority of tokens are crypto asset securities. You did this, and you would deliberately use this made-up term as the basis for your entire enforcement crusade over the past three years, only for your lawyers to retract it in a footnote. Listen, this is what I talked about. Think, listen, hey guys, I just said this in what, maybe two videos ago. When they were like, uh, the, the SEC was apologizing. Well, sorry for the confusion. I said, what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. You caused irreputable irrep irrep damage to the crypto space, and y'all think that y'all get to just come out and say, I'm sorry? Oh, that's your job. To a court just last week. Your inconsistencies on this issue, sir, have set this country back. We could not have had a more historically destructive or lawless chairman of the SEC. And I yield back. Ooh. 
So now again, this is the temperament, right? Again, Tom, hey, hey, I, I'm a fan, but I want everybody because I said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trickle y'all the breadcrumbs, right? Everybody, y'all getting the breadcrumbs? Follow the breadcrumbs. I'm putting down Cheerios, all right? Who's followed down there? Tom Emmer. Tom Emmer's followed by Brad Gardinghouse, correct? So now we know Tom Emmer is it directly understanding. Brad has got to be voicing these concerns to Tom. And now Tom, with full understanding, is blasting Gary every opportunity he gets. They sound very similar, him and Brad, don't they? We keep pulling through. Now, again, October 7th being the deadline, I want y'all to bring this in. And what is happening on October 15th? Ripple swells, remember, in Miami? Let's tap in fair use for the clip. This year's event at FINA Farm in Miami offers exclusive insight and unmatched networking opportunities with leaders in payments, financial services, and blockchain. Now, guys, again, please just follow along, guys. Sit back, sit back, sit back. <clears throat> The stable coin, remember now, is is dropping is it, within any days now at this point, guys. Any days, right? The settlement ends for sure. Everything's done on the 7th of October. The 15th and 16th is the ripple swell. Wouldn't it be a perfect timing for a stable coin if they said it's weeks out? Right at the they said it was gonna it, it was at, literally gonna drop at this time period. Remember? Remember, we were ha having a discussion. So wouldn't it be a perfect fit for that stable coin to be dropping in here to be going in that Ripple Swell event? Guys, look in betwixt the lines. I mean, you really don't have to look in betwixt the lines. Look right on the wall, right? But now, here's all this dialing in. It's perfect at the time. It almost seems orchestrated. As the gateway between yeah. North and South America, Miami has always been a strategic hub for both continents. And it's definitely a city that's long been committed to- Make sure I pause I don't like that little, that little plan, whatever it is back in the background. Fair use, I said, fair use. Innovation and development. That's why I'm very pleased to share that Ripple will be holding our eighth annual Swell Conference in Miami. Ripple's focus as a company has always been global through our products around payments, custody, and tokenization, but also with Ripple Swell, from Toronto to London to Singapore and most recently Dubai. That's now and again, guys, all these places had major news drop out. Okay, let's just see what let's just let's just see what Mike could be coming. We're excited right? to bring our customers and let's partners, just see. industry thought leaders, regulators and policymakers from around the world together in this special city. I hope to see you in Miami. R Brad, 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 listen. I promise you, you'll be seeing me soon in Miami. You might not be there, but you'll be seeing me all over the news, guys. Listen, uh, the, the sheer amount of chases that I might put them on with these V12s. Who knows who I might become? All right, let me settle in. Let me settle in. But now let's come further in. If you thought that that was only it, XRP is not a security. Just in, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce says the SEC should have admitted a long time ago that crypto tokens are not security. They got all into his footnotes, literally. Let's get down to it. There he is. I think what's happening is that we're trying to be ambiguous because the legal precision carries with it real implications. And this is why people have been coming to us and saying we need clarity. Is the token itself a security? Or is it part of an investment contract? Is it being sold together with an investment contract? If it is, what is that investment contract? And how long does it track along with the token? By using imprecise language, we've been able to sort of suggest that the token itself is a security apart from that investment contract, which has implications for secondary sales. It has implications for who can list it. And I think this is absolutely a uh, we, we've fallen down on our duty as a regulator not- Look at this, look at this. Not to be precise. And so tucking into a footnote that yes, we, we admit that now actually the token itself is not a security. Yes, now we admit that now the token, yeah, yeah. You know why, hold that little stupid face up there. I'll tell you exactly why. Because Brad Garlinghouse, the brain in XRP and Ripple had to manhandle y'all and fight y'all legally with some of the greatest uh, 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 crypto lawyers in order for y'all to come back around and say, oh yeah, uh, so we realized that we just made this all up. 
that's something that we should have admitted long ago and then started wrestling with the difficult questions. Right. So. I think what's happened. Yeah, yeah. The capitulation of the SEC. Now, uh, let's pull a little bit fur further, guys. Gary Gensler, shaking badly, guilt. Now, guys, I want you to look at this guy who tried to cause so much harm to you, but it will always revert back to you. Let's take a look at this, guys. Look at the hands here. Okay. Uh, it's to an earlier point if I can this is how this is how this is how heavily they had this weasel on the ropes and that this look at the hands how we standard look is actually look at uh, uh, quite look at uh, clear whoa um, you know one court said how he provides clearly expressed test for determining what constitution yeah and of course he's talking about that how we think that we were talking about that literally it was like hey only you're using something outdated. You can't use something to drop. You can't describe what's going on. This is a new financial technology. It doesn't fit in that box. We, everybody's known that. But now you're being, now you're having to explain why you were using that example. And, and it, well, let's see them hands one more time. Let's see the hands one more time, please. Hold on. Let's see them hands with them glasses. Hold on. Quite uh, Good clear. Uh, quite you're lying. Uh, clear. Ooh. Um, you know, one court said how. Okay. All right, guys. So again, you think that this guy would dare appeal any of this? Okay. I wanted all that to be tied in so y'all can understand that. Wait a minute. Here goes the advertisement out. Money said it when he's, when they start shooting them ads out to everybody and letting everybody know it's too late. You've been at your SEC apologize, but now you're watching the capitulation of the SEC, right? While what occurs? Boom, Swift mentioned XRP as bridge currency over 11,000 banks. Only 10% of Swift systems could cat, only 10% of Swift's system could catapult XRP to over $1,000. And again, we already know that. 10% of the current Swift movement would have XRP to $1,000 coin. Do y'all know what I would do with $1,000 coin in XRP? I already know what I'm gonna do. That's why I got the bag stacked. But now let's, let's take a little look down here. So again, this is the Swift R3 partnership. Obviously, you guys know what we said was coming 2025. Why this all fits in, we can kind of tell the narrative based off of the timeline, right? ISO 222. All right, so you've got your Swift partnering with the R3. Swift they can't just die. The bank just ain't gonna die. They gonna adapt and come with it, right? But again, Swift and R3 are collaborating on GPI link proof concept. The GPI link will allow GPI payments catapults to be embedded directly into R3's DLT uh, platform, aka trying to make settlements quicker, guys, right? But of course, there's one crypto that does that. The government doesn't have one that can do that. There's one that can. It's, it's Ripple XRP. But again, the, the big compelling part was the example that the swift system used right down here to show obviously they're showing this company a company b there's a need for transaction there's a need for settlement transfers funds a quarter quarter is their uh portion of it system now remember guys the reason that we're here and why this thing i, I just keep stacking whatever i can into it while i can is because it's a plug in play so it doesn't have to replace the swift but a swift one to get on board down here you see a uh, quarter settler swift gpi and what is handling that gpi cryptocurrency example xrp to gpi link so again now this is from the mouth of swift r3 systems literally using the crypto as an example what example you could use a billion why don't you use bitcoin i know why you didn't use bitcoin this is why you didn't use bitcoin that's the beta test coin but now here you have your Swiss system linking your XRP down here, right? So let's just close out with this, right? Quick little sweat, we'll read over it. Swift specifically mentions XRP. Here's the significance. The collaboration between Swift and R3 has garnered significant attention within the blockchain and cryptocurrency communities, particularly due to its potential implications the digital, uh, for the digital token XRP. Recent tweet by cryptocurrency enthusiast XRP Avengers highlighted a proof of concept involving Swift's global payment innovation, GPI, and R3's distributed ledger technology, DLT platform, Corda, 
and this is theirs, right? R3's the, uh, technology platform quarter, in which XRP could play a role as a, a settlement option. Obviously, we just went over that in an example they're using here. This development has uh, reignited discussions around the potential adoption of digital assets like XRP within traditional finance infrastructure. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's re uh, reignited it, huh? All right. Swift and um, R3 collaboration overview. According to images shared in the tweet, Swift, a well-established leader in the fin financial messaging and cross-border payment system, is working with R3, a blockchain consortium, to explore new settlement capabilities. The partnership aims to integrate Swift's GPI to R3's quarter platform, a distributed ledger technology primarily used for financial institutions. This integration is part of a broader proof of concept intended to create a more efficient settlement layer for DLT-based ecosystem. The focus for the uh, of the collaboration to enable the Swift GPI function uh, directly within R3's quarter platform, allowing the cross-border transactions to settle in fiat currencies. Okay, i.e what ripple does okay and again y'all got to understand swift's gonna have to have their name for it but these are different plugins gpi r3s right these are different systems but the settler the cart that's gonna have to be used is gonna have to be that xrp that's why at the end of the day anybody getting flooded out of your money if you're not throwing every additional dollar, hey not financial advice i'm telling you what i'm doing this is a uh, 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 current Brandon talking, our uh, future Brandon talking to current Brandon. If you're not throwing every extra dollar you have and just letting it sit up in that XRP, you're going to be a sad individual. You are going to miss out on all type of V12 action. All type of thought. All type of double decker yachts. Because you just simply want to overlook all this. The, if, if you guys have followed the bread comes this far, make sure you drop a money bag in the chat as usual. Now, hey, hey, make sure you like, comment, subscribe as well, guys. Take them likes on up. You know, they kind of tried to shadow ban my last video. I can tell whenever he hit that 250 mark and sit there, they didn't like what I, they didn't like something that I enlisted in. I know what it was when I talked about a certain subject. But hey, I got to keep it real. It is what it is. Y'all run it up on this video. But now, nonetheless, where we at? This represents an important step towards improving interability between uh, traditional finance, uh, uh, traditional financial system and blockchain networks. The images in indicate that both organizations share a common interest in building a settlement capability for DLT ecosystem. However, it is noted that the proof of concept is not yet a uh, com uh, commercialized service, uh, not a commercialized service. Obviously, it's a proof. This is what they, of course, they want core. The same with Tether. But there's one company that has done this and completed it. It's XRP. Anything to do with whenever y'all see cross-border settlement, settlement, transaction, tokenization, there's one coin that does this. That's why Ethereum partnered with XRP. Those are exchanges. This is, the, all right, hey, y'all, you, right, you missed it. Let's finish it off here. Um, it's just, let me see if this is. So yeah, we'll, we'll finish that. All right, XRP uh, uh, potential role. A key uh, point that has captured attention and is the potential use of XRP as a settlement asset in the uh, in the system. XRP is highlighted in the images as a possible currency for the quarter settler. The mechanism by which funds will be transferred. Duh. You can throw whatever name you want over the top of. This is why I said, guys. They're not going to, you're not going to have common everyday people going out and buying XRP. They're just going to be walking up and scanning, dink. Oh, you have Chase, dink. The XRP is the background layer. You can put whatever on the face of it. That's why I'm like, this is huge. The scalability. The scalability. Specifically, the diagram shows the option to settle transactions through Swift GPI or cryptocurrency with XRP explicitly mentioned as an example. Explicitly mentioned as an example. This suggests that the XRP could be used as an intermediate intermediary to facilitate liquidity between different fiat currencies on the quarter platform. The mention of XRP in this context is significant for several reasons. First, it validates the potential for the digital assets to play a meaningful role in cross-border payments. We already know that. That's what we're here for, particularly in conjunction with established financial networks. We already know they plug and play everywhere. That's why they're going to be running fully live in Japan in 2025. And that's why we're going to be able to run it a stable coin here.
He's plug and play. Second, it brings the token to the forefront of discussion regarding the institutional adoption of cryptocurrency, which has been a topic of speculation for years. For XRP, the com for the XRP community, this is seen as a positive signal and represents the potential for mainstream usage of the digital asset in a, a system that already uh, processes large volumes of transactions globally through SWIFT. Again, we don't have to read this. It's just about the commercialization. But again, I just want to break that point to y'all of understanding, okay, now you've got the SWIFT system basically alluding with court and letting you know, hey, by the way, we were using a crypto in the background to kind of make sure we can get these two systems to work together. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe example could be XRP, but we'll keep... Notice the how they put it right in front of you guys, but you got to know what you're looking for and where to look for, right? But I just put it at this, right? This is a great way to end it. I think this meme will take over the world very soon from Brett. Daddy, why are we so rich? Well, honey, because I bought XRP when the SEC sued Ripple. <laughs> I added that part in there. That's my rich laugh. Um, Guys, I want you to step back and understand what you're doing is how you invest. When there's something that's clear as day and you see it being attacked and there's foot wrapped around it, you buy the investment at the low. Thus has been every investment that's running. Same with Tesla. Same with NVIDIA. You see how many money? I was telling people to put tech in your tech and tech. How many people was, hey, you might want to. And, and then when it's running up, you don't hear nothing else now, right? Nobody, all the naysayers that was talking about when I was telling the family to go pick up that NVIDIA. Now that we're in stocks with it, over 1,000, there's nobody back. You buy during the FUD. Not at the top. Then you're just FOMO. You're just a fool. You're going to be making money for me when I'm selling my coins off on you trying to buy up there at 100 bucks. You hear me? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't forget, you guys are dialed in. You're not missing anything. 2024 is your year. We are V12 type people. Do not get it twisted. All the information is laid right out in front of you, right? XRP about to climb up to six cents, but again, hold steady. Nobody lose your job. Don't lose your money. And uh, most of all, don't lose your wallet. And if you don't have your crypto on a wallet, you're playing around with yourself. Money's told you what you need to do. If you want to be lazy, you be lazy. I got videos of the ballot wallet review, videos of how to upload from the ballot wallet to your crypto cold source. You have no excuses. But guys, y'all hold it down. I'm going to get this edited up. Hopefully my bet's hit for tonight. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm betting on WNBA, so it's a, it's a wild one. But guys, y'all hold it down. I'm going to get this edited up. This is your year. Do not get it twisted. Keep stacking it. Pack each and every single one of those overhead bins. We are dialed in. We are right where we need to be. The launch pad is loaded. Y'all know what time it is, though, don't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir!